and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm really happy right now and I'm really excited because I love this look. Curls are falling up, but that's okay, we're ignoring them. You should subscribe if you're not already because I like new videos and I love you and look, yes, please do subscribe, I love you. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me for homecoming, so it's basically just the hair, makeup, and the dress because that's homecoming for you. I have done a few other homecoming videos like get ready with me is what homecoming is like, checklist, blah, blah, blah. Link those down below if I can remember, but I'm a mediocre person that forgets everything, so who knows if that'll actually be down there. But I'm really, really obsessed with how this turned out and I love it. I just want to wear it and like go to Target and just like walk around and have everyone just be like, she looks good. That's what I want to do right now. I don't know what else to say, so let's get started. So starting off, I have a ton of dry shampoo in my hair. I just thought I'd mention that because we all need it. So I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is going to help my eyeshadow stay on, not crease, all of that stuff. It's great. And I forgot my brushes. Go figure, I always do this. So I actually forgot the brush for this one, so I'm just using my finger, but I'm taking a matte cream shade and applying this on my entire eye. This is going to set the primer and it's going to help my eyeshadow stand out more because it has a brighter base, which actually kind of matches my skin tone, so whatever. I'm taking scotch tape and I'm going to angle this from my eye to the end of my eyebrow. This is going to make sure my wing is even and there's no rounding at the edge of my eye. It's just basically going to make it sharp. And I wasn't sure if they were even or not and I was kind of stressing about it, but then I gave up at one point so I was like, whatever, who cares. I am starting off with a transition shade. This is from the Morphe 350 Matte Palette and I'm applying this in my crease. I found that windshield wiper motions and circular motions together works really great just to make sure it's all blended out and there's no harsh lines, which I really, really love. And then I'm taking this darker color and applying this from my lash line up to the top of my crease, basically, in the outer third of my eye. And whatever is left, I'm kind of taking it halfway to my crease, if that makes any sense. This makes no sense. But I'm basically just doing this to both eyes, and I'm building it up as I go. I wanted to start off light and then build it up so it's not something that if I mess up, I can't go back from. And I'm taking a fluffier dance brush. This is from Anastasia. It's pink champagne, like a single eyeshadow. It's my favorite eyeshadow of all time. I wore this when I went to prom, and I just, every time I wear it, I get compliments. And I cannot express how much I love it. I'm applying this on like the two-thirds of my eye that does not have that darker shade on it. So basically the inner half of my eye. And then I'm darkening it up the again. I just, I like it, you know. And then I'm taking this Naked Cosmetics pigment. I think it's in... Sienna Nevada and I'm just applying this to the center of my eye just a little bit to add something extra It's something so small, but it makes the biggest difference and I think it's so cute And then I'm going to line my eyes. I'm using two liners because I'm extra. Did I use that right? I really don't know I'm using the tape to kind of help me make sure the lines are even and then once I get it to the length that I want it to I take the tape off and make it thicker and even and all that stuff just because the tape kind of gets in the way But it does help making sure my wings are even and one's not all the way over here So, you know, they're sisters. They're not like second cousin three times removed like my eyebrows are I'm just kidding I'm also adding lashes. These are the wispies from Ardell So I'm not very good at putting on lashes, but I have found some tips that really help First one is to use tweezers. It helps so much. It makes it more precise. I also like to look down at a mirror and have the mirror underneath me. And when you put on glue, make sure you wait like a minute so it'll get tacky. The biggest tip that I have for you is to cut a few lashes off the end to make it fit your eye better. I used to never do this and now I cannot do it without it. And I'm putting some liner on the lash band to conceal the glue. And I'm going to prime my face with Benefits Professional so I don't have like huge pores because you know... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, and then my favorite foundation which is from covergirl. I don't ever not use this foundation So yeah, I'm using that with a beauty blender because that's my favorite method to apply it And I'm just you know putting it on my face because that's yeah, that's what you do, you know Mm-hmm So I'm just doing that here and then after that I'm going to put on concealer Once we get to that part wait for it wait for it There we go my favorite concealer naked skin from urban decay I'm kind of applying a lot of this, but it's homecoming, so I can do whatever I want. And I'm applying it basically under my eyes, chin, forehead, and nose, so the center of my face. This adds so much light. This is like one of the only concealers that's like slightly lighter than me, because I mean like I am the color of copy paper. So I'm just doing that, and I'm focusing a lot for blending underneath my eyes, because I have huge creases under my eyes. So I'm just blending that, and then I'm baking my face. Well, it's not really baking, it's kind of like a mixture of like, is she wearing so much powder or is she baking? The world may never know, I don't know. But I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder for this with my same beauty blender. You probably shouldn't do that, but I mean like, who cares? I don't follow rules. 
And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I do that in quotations because like Anastasia Brow Definer, I'm not very good at putting on, not putting on eyebrows, but like doing my eyebrows. I just, I do whatever I want. I don't know. When I fill in my eyebrows, I don't really do much. I just fill in the parts that look like it's bald, like a bald baby. That's like a really weird analogy. I'm really sorry. Anyways, I am taking the light shade that I applied all over my eyes and putting that on my brow bone just to like make it look better, I guess. And I'm brushing off all the powder that's probably not like acceptable to have on my face, which I normally would because cake face. And then I'm having the chocolate sole bronzer on my face. I'm using the Artiste brush, which it always looks like it's a straight line on camera, but in real life it doesn't look like that. I don't know why on camera it always looks like that. I swear I would never go out in public knowing it looks like that. Probably I've done that before, but you know, we live and we learn. I'm putting on my forehead too because my forehead's the size of China. I am so hard on myself today, oh my goodness. But I am just brushing it off, and not brushing it off, blending it. And I'm taking these two blushes and combining them from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. You know, my favorite palette of all time. Blending that off too. And Champagne Pop, like what else would you expect from me? It's my favorite highlighter. I, like, what's the point of using another one besides Champagne Pop? I don't know. Plugging it on my cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, stuff like that. And then I'm setting my eyebrows because they are crazy. They are crazier than I am. So, yeah, you know, it's life. And then I am putting some mascara on to blend my lashes into my, like, real false, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And I forgot to apply, like, my lower lash line eyeshadow stuff. So I am applying the darkest shade and the transition shade that I used on my eye and smudging that there. And then on the inner half, I'm using pink champagne from Anastasia, and it got in my eye, and it really hurt. So I'm doing that, and then we're just doing that. I'm using, like, an eyeliner brush for that. I'm taking this cream eyeshadow, which, like, there was no point in, like, lining my waterline with it because it came off in, like, one minute. But I still did it, so, yeah. And then I'm just smudging that out and everything, and it looks so cute. I love smudging my lower lash line. As for my lips, I lost my like lipstick thing in my friend's car, so let's pretend I'm wearing it. So here is the makeup. I love it. So as for the hair, I just brushed out all the dry shampoo. I'm using this really old curling iron that I stole from my sister in probably like fourth grade and it's broken and it barely works, but I still used it for some reason. I don't really know why. But I'm just wrapping my hair around it in both directions so it's more wavy and it's not necessarily so uniformed curls. And I'm just doing that all over my head. It's kind of boring, I know, but it's life. So I'm just doing that. And then I kind of got bored so I just snapped my way to the other side. And I'm teasing my hair so there's more volume in it. Yes, you know. The dry shampoo did help with like a lot of texture and volume by the way. And I'm twisting one half of my head, so I'm just taking two pieces of hair and then twisting them. And then it's a French twist, so every section that I twist I'm adding some hair in, if that makes any sense. It helps it stay and it makes it bigger and everything. And then at the end I'm just tying it off with a clear elastic and pulling out some hair. And how I like to check it is just take a picture of it and then I'm pulling it out to make it looser and bigger and look a lot better and cuter because, you know, the bigger the better. And I'm just pulling it out here. And I was eating a mozzarella stick and it was really good, not gonna lie, kind of hot. But yeah, I was hairspraying it, but then I realized that I wasn't holding down the hairspray enough, so I didn't even spray the curls. But the mozzarella sticks made up for it. So that is the hair. It's so cute. I love it. And it was really nice because to get my hair off my neck during the dance. And the mozzarella sticks were really good too. I already mentioned that, but it's cool. It's cool. So yeah, I love the hair, how it turned out. I think it's so cute. As for the dress, I won't lie to you. Wait, that sounds like the Shawn Mendes song. Anyways, but I cannot get my dress zipped up by myself because it always gets stuck where all the gems are and I was home alone when I was filming this. So I just showed it to you hanging on a hanger. But it is from a website called Prom Girl and I think it's so cute. I want to like live in this dress. I love it. That was the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. I love you so, so, so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah. I can honestly say that I have not been this happy filming a video in a really long time and it feels really great. Mwah.